Hey guys, what's up? I'm Heyman. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about Salesforce platform, how you can create custom objects, custom object tabs, list view, and we'll see why it's important. Since we are in the episode 2 of interactive email series, I'll be creating all the examples around that only. If you haven't watched episode 1, I would recommend you guys to click on this i button and check that out. Before proceeding further, if you haven't subscribed guys, please click on subscribe button. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the Salesforce platform. Those who never saw this platform before or worked on it, I would definitely recommend you guys to try this once. Now let's create a custom object and its fields. Um, you can think of custom object as an entity or table in the DB. So in order to create a custom object, go to the gear icon, select setup. Now object manager in the second tab. Now from create drop down, you can select custom object. Here you can provide the label or name of the object according to your need. Since this is episode two of developing interactive email series, I am providing the relevant name here, email response. And other than that description and all, I'm not gonna fill all the settings apart from that. It's looking good. So yeah, I think I think we can go ahead and save this object. Click on save and it got created successfully. Now it's time to create fields. So for that you need to click on fields and relationships. So these are the by default fields every entity has. In order to create a new field click on new and we'll be selecting number type to create a number field. So I'll be giving NPS response as my field name and I'm not gonna make any changes in the configuration. I'm keeping all the settings as it is. So yeah, every setting as it is, I'm not making any changes here also. Next, now save it. So you have created a brand new field NPS response. Here it is, as you can see. Now we'll be creating a new field uh, of type text area. Select text area from here. Click on next. And I'll name it text response. And all the settings I'm keeping as it is. Same as NPS response if you remember. And save that field. That's it. Did you see how easy it is to create an entity and its fields? These are the field names and remember that every time you refer a particular field in your code then you have to refer by its field name. If you want to see the custom object which you just created then you go to the object manager and there you can find the custom object. Now let's discuss custom object tabs. You just created the custom object and you'll be storing some records in it right? So how will you manage your records in the platform? Like performing CRUD operations in the entity to display specific records, create a list view, filter records, search records in the list view, etc. So custom object tab will provide you all the flexibility to perform these operations in the platform. Now let's create custom object tab. In the custom object tab section, click on new button. You can select the custom object from this object drop down. I'll be selecting email response as our custom object and you can select the tab styles. I'm selecting email kind of uh, styling here for my tab. I'm keeping all the configurations as it is. It's very important to set these configurations carefully guys. So I would recommend you guys to check about each and every configurations in detail. Now click on save. Here we go. We have successfully created custom object tab for email response. Now let's perform some operations on this custom tab which we have created. I am in service app. I just refreshed it. Here we go. If you see newly introduced email responses tab, I'll be clicking on it. This is recently viewed page and uh, it's empty. That's why it's uh, coming like that. Now let's create list view. For that you need to click on gear icon, now select new and you can provide the list view name. I am keeping interactive email demo. 
and API name would automatically populate and these are the list view setting I am right now keeping only I can see the list view this is how interactive email list view is looking by default column is showing email response name so uh, we can select we can configure which column we can set so I am setting this time NPS response and X response not name I have removed if you noticed then uh, two columns I am able to see here uh, one is NPS response and another is text response let's create a new record for email response email response name is a mandatory field so you can provide any name give some value to NPS response and text response service was good so hit save Okay, we have created a record successfully if you go to the list view and uh, the list view we have created interactive email demo so you can see the layout clearly which we have designed with two fields NPS response and text response similarly you can perform other operations as well in this list view like deleting the record searching editing filtering sorting etc that's it for today guys i hope you like this video if you have any query and suggestions please comment it down below i'll be happy to reply if you like this video please don't forget to click on like button and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing till then bye bye see you in the next video